Hi, I'm Jack from Armourine Jones. If your Riviera was built after 2017 and is fitted with Garmin multifunction display system for its navigation, there might be a little feature that you don't know about called Garmin Auto Guidance. This is a great feature used for your extended long range cruising and great for trip planning. Let me show you how it works. Once you find your end destination on your chart system, hit, simply hit the screen like you would with a waypoint and hit the auto guidance feature. This will prompt you to start navigation. At this time is when you can adjust the path and review potential hazards that the system has already investigated for you, such as rocks, mooring buoys, and potentially some beacons that you might run over. Once you're at cruising speed and the, and the autopilot is doing its job, it's gonna give you your estimated time of arrival and total distance left of the trip. This is a super handy thing to have when you're booking marina berths or just simply letting friends and family know when you're gonna be home. So we're cruising down the Cooma River now. We're gonna use our auto guidance feature to get us all the way down to the Golka City Marina. So we're gonna find Golka City Marina on the map. So we know we're gonna go down to here and that's gonna give us our bar menu bar up the top. We're gonna to hit auto guidance. This is the opportunity we get to adjust the path before we hit navigation to engage the autopilot. So let's adjust the path. As you can see, we'll adjust it over here to the correct side of the green marker. We follow through our course, make sure that's okay. And we're all good. So we're happy with that. We've checked over our course twice. And what we're gonna do is now we'll press done and we're gonna press start navigation and accept all our warning prompts. Now we're gonna engage the autopilot. What this is gonna do is allow the pod drives in your RPS Riviera to talk to the autopilot system. It's gonna bring us onto path. And as you can see, our boat on the screen is going to follow our little pink line right around this corner. So that hazard there that's come up on the screen is a perfect example of how smart the auto guidance system is. It's showing us there's a green marker within a close proximity. We've acknowledged it. We know we're in a safe spot so we can hit okay. We're now coming up to our next term. Let's watch the pink bar on the compass tape on the top of the screen, and that'll show us what the pods are doing to control with the autopilot. So up ahead of us, we've got a boat in the middle of the channel, obviously doing some test work. Now, we're gonna have to get around them. As you know, in your Volvo IPS boat, your steering wheel locks when autopilot is engaged. So to cancel auto guidance, we're gonna press this little red button up the top, and that means stop navigation. That will allow us to use our steering wheel to navigate around the boat. We're gonna not save this path because it's a test. And it's gonna prompt us to make sure that we really wanna use the steering wheel. So let's go to standby, which allows our steering wheel to work. Now we've got full control of the steering wheel and we're gonna steer around the oncoming vessel. Isn't it great how much technology has advanced over the years? Garmin Auto Guidance really makes cruising on your Riviera Motor Yacht so much easier. We hope you've enjoyed this video. Happy and safe boating.